Hello guys, in this video I'm going to share what drawing uh, paper I use most often for my colored pencil art. I really draw on white paper these days because I find that colored pencils react uh, to uh, colored or toned paper um, a lot more and I'm able to create super vivid drawings with very few colored pencils. I used to draw on uh, pastel paper a lot um, using various uh, bright colors they have. Um, I used to use a, a violet paper in my drawings, but the pastel paper comes in pads and uh, large pieces. I use them both and the problem with the pastel paper is that uh, it has a lot of texture. Uh, one side has less texture than uh, another side, but it still has a lot of texture. So what becomes difficult and frustrating for me to fill in all that texture. So after a while, uh, I started looking for a better alternative to uh, colored pastel paper and I was uh, thrilled to find the Kensel color line paper because it has a wide variety of very bright colors. Paper's texture uh, is minimal. It's about right for colored pencil drawing. It's not too smooth and at the same time it has uh, some texture in it so um, it can accept more layers and more work. Artists need to support each other, so if you find my videos valuable, please hit the subscribe button, uh, share and like this video. I appreciate that very much. Kensen uh, color line paper comes in many bright hues and at least uh, two thicknesses that I've tested. Uh, maybe they have a better variety in paper's thickness, I have no idea. Um, but I'm gonna show you uh, what I use personally so you can make your own decision. And this paper comes in a wide variety of colors. I pick uh, super bright colors the most often because I like how my colored pencils react um, to this color. This is fuchsia, by the way. A paper that says 184 pounds is uh, a very thick uh, paper and I love it because it's not flimsy, you know, when I spray it, it stays flat and I can layer a lot of colors. Uh, I used to uh, use a 92 pound paper and it's a lot thinner. It's really thin, but the it's so perfect for colored pencil work because the surface is just right uh, to grab enough colored pencil and um, you know you, you create uh, beautiful vibrant colored pencil drawings uh, on this paper but if you uh, work on thin paper you need to be more careful uh, spraying it with the fixative uh, giving it very light coats. You can give it several coats, but they need to be very light. And 
When you pick your colored paper on the line, you cannot really touch it. So the only way of looking at your paper, you can pick it by the color. But also what's important is the paper's thickness. I prefer having paper that is quite thick. These two pieces of paper are 92 pounds, I believe. And this paper is quite thin. Okay, so it's better to pick uh, the paper that is thick. In my experience, paper that's 184 pounds is uh, very uh, thick paper. So when you uh, look at your paper choices online, uh, try to pick paper that's uh, thick enough to withstand uh, multiple layering and then spraying with the fixative. In my experience, uh, thin papers could crumble uh, when I spray them with the fixative. And uh, thicker papers uh, stay nice and flat. I buy uh, large uh, pieces of this paper. I think the size is uh, roughly 19 by 25 inches. And if I want to create smaller artwork, I have that flexibility. I can cut this paper uh, to any smaller size that I want. Uh, I can create drawings of uh, unusual sizes as well. Um, I don't know if uh, this company offers this paper in, uh, in rolls, you know, some, some uh, companies do just that, um, but you know, colored pencil medium is a very time-consuming medium. <laughs> the si like this size, 19 by 25, uh, seems to be plenty of work for me. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like uh, to get in touch with me, you can uh, message me on Instagram or Facebook or visit my website veronikasar.com. Um, take care, bye-bye.